So, I'm going to say don't forget to, to come in and uh, visit uh, Miller's Bar when you're here. So as we're going on, next door, Sandra's. We've got Sandra's. We've got Peter's Snack Bar across the way. Lots of little places here. Peter's British Pub. Karaoke. Little Indian there. Place to rent. Back to the 80s. Oh, that's gone. Another bar gone. Everywhere I look. Tattoo shop. Another, oh, another tattoo shop. This one's open, so... Hi. <laughs> so that one's open, so you can get a tattoo as soon as you get here. That one's going to be here. One of the kebabish houses. Yeah, so that's uh, Peter's Sports Bar there. we got Mr. Opportunity. And of course here you can uh, come in and uh, get to uh, book all your uh, stag and hens. Well, you can come in and uh, you can see the uh, the name there. Just come in and say hello. Well, whatever you like, we're coming up here now. This is Champions, number one for sport. Champions Bar. So... This is the square, or part of the pedestrianised part of the square, coming up to. Got the Hotel Orange, just there. And of course, further up, you've got Sinatra's. Got Sinatra's up there. And uh, the, the bird cage is up there as well. So, uh, yeah. Got the orange. A bit further up, you can see the marina. Not going to go out that way today. There's the marina hotel, right up at the end there. Let's see where my finger is. Just here. That's the hotel marina. And of course, Cafe Benidorm, just here. On the corner, along with Champions for the, the, the square. There we go. Even says the square dance club. So if you've ever been to Benidorm, this is the place to go for all the entertainment. And of course, all this whole square. Some great entertainment here, nightclubs. Chippy there. And of course we got uh, I don't mean in here, Bahamas. This is the Bahamas. Been in there a few times. I've been in all of these uh, over the years, to be honest. The Hippodrome. And you've got the British Chippy over there as well. Famous British chippy, lots of food, kebabs. You never go hungry in Benidorm when everything's open. Open 24 hours a day as well. And this is the Beachcomber. Quite a big bar. Been in there a few times as well. And we're coming down. Tom, we went out and seen the sea. I haven't seen the sea yet today. Like I say, it's... A it's a beautiful day. A bit breezy, so I don't know uh, how many we're gonna gonna see. Not what's going on here. It always looks a bit um, always looks a bit dire. This area could do with uh, sort of clearing it up a bit. Oh, that's what, might be that's what's happening. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. It's all looking a bit. A bit war torn from the wind and the sun and the heat. Maybe that'll change. There's Broadway, Disco Pub. That's uh, right here on the corner. And of course, down there you've got the Queen's Arms, the Rose and Crown, Rockies. You know, all your. The red lion down there on the corner, I can see. Right. 
Yes, and the Don Pancho Hotel, all within that vicinity, all of this part of the square. Lucky games here. And of course up that way, just check there's nothing coming, I don't want to get run over. There's the uh, Marina Hotel that I said about, just up here. And it goes on, you've got Rockstar, you've got Jumping Jacks, you know, all the, all the famous bars up that way. And of course here's the Zodiac Bar. This is uh, the Bar of Zodiac. There's people coming off the beach here with their sun mats. So I'm going to go the other way. And I'm going to go along in the sun as well. Because that sun is lovely and warm. See, the sun is hot all the time here. It's just that uh, it's the breeze that uh, makes a difference. On the 29th of January, we had 29 degrees. Amazing. There's chaplains. Coming down. This is Co Blanca 41, the apartment block here. So if you're staying in Coblanco 41, it's quite a quite a tall a tall set just here. There's eight party jazz R and B. No under 18s. Cool edge. Try and give everyone a mention. Silver City. Here we go, Silver City. Silver City Bar there. Only lots of people sitting out here. Little tables there, little, well, tables, little places to put your drink where you're sitting outside catching the sun on a beautiful day. Here we are at the Mediterranean. And uh, it says I can go. I've got the green man, so I'm going to go across. Just looking down the Mediterranean. The grill house, the big grill house with the with the jail. <laughs> the casino, I can see the casino right down there. The words of the casino through the trees. There it is, directly in front. So, yes, and of course up the other way. Towards the old town. Normally this road is just, you know, there's people, cars, Horns buzzing, you know, it's so, it's so lively, but you know, after all these months of restrictions and lockdowns, it's it's turned Benidorm into uh, like most of the other uh, towns along the uh, Mediterranean coast. But then they they're used to it. They normally close down for the winter. Or a lot of the places do. There's not a lot of tourists around. So, um, like I say, Benidorm's not been used to it. The bars here have relied on the winter trade to keep them going as well. Here we are at the Dunes Hotel. That's a four star. That's the, the Dunes Hotel. So if you sit at the dunes, right on the beach. Looks like they're having a bit of work done as well. Work when you're currently outside, you're having a break in the sun. Having a look. So, we're nearly out at the beach. Yes, a bit of work going on here for the dunes hotel preparing for the summer trade and here we are we've arrived at the beach how many people are here it's looking pretty empty the beach looking pretty empty well yes there's not so many on the beach today a few people walking along the front Up this way, 
There's normally more people down the other way near the McDonald's because it's open for takeaway. But uh, there's a view of the Mediterranean, right.